Hey, this is the Nerd's Guide to the One-Arm Chin-Up. Check out the description below for links to the rest of the videos in this series. So at some point in your progression, you want to practice what's called a flexed arm exercise. That's where you start with your arm already bent partway through the chin-up, and you do part of the exercise. The reason you want to do this is so that you can emphasize parts, the middle parts of the pull-up that you normally don't get with a full arm motion. Now the normal advice is to grab onto a pull-up bar with both hands, pull to the position that you want to be in, and then let go with your off hand. Something like this. Now I personally found that really, really hard to do when I first started, because I would let go with my off hand, and I wouldn't be concentrated or I wouldn't be strong enough, and I'd be hanging on like this, and all of a sudden I would fall out of the motion, and I would jerk my arm upward, which led to a small number of injuries. So the slightly better way I discovered to do this exercise is to start with your feet on the ground, and your arm flexed to the position you want. What's nice about this is you now have full control over when you transfer weight from your body to your arm. Additionally, if you were to fail out of this exercise, you can just put your feet down and catch yourself. So, the way to do a static flexed arm exercise is you stand with your feet on the ground, arm on the bar, tense up your upper body, and right when you're ready, you lift your feet off of the ground and you're in the static hold. Here's the example. Tense up my upper body. When I'm ready, I lift my feet. Now I'm in a static hold. When I'm done, I pull my feet down. Alternatively, if I want to do a pulling positive from flexed arm, I start with my feet on the ground again, hand on the bar, upper body flexed, and when I'm ready, instead of lifting my feet, I just pull myself upwards, like so. Ready? So I'm tensing up, pull, go up. So that's the flexed arm pull from standing position. The question is, how do you get into this position? There are lots of ways of doing it. The most obvious is to adjust the height of the bar. So in this case, you can see we're at a playground, and there just happen to be two bars at different heights. So I can do flexed arm exercises from either of these two bars. Alternatively, if you're working out at a gym, you can put a weight training uh, lifting bar onto an adjustable height squat rack and adjust the height to whatever you want and do the flexed arm uh, motions from the bar. Just make sure the bar is stable. Alternatively, if you have a set of rings, you can adjust the height of the rings up and down to get to the correct height. Now, if you can't adjust the height of the bar, you can obviously adjust the height of yourself. So here I've just got a little step stool. Uh, if I stand on the stool, I've obviously adjusted my height relative to the bar. If you work out at the gym, you can use box jump boxes or whatever you can find to stand on to get to the right height. So that's it. That's how to do safely perform a flexed arm exercise. You ideally want to do it with your feet starting on the ground, your arm flexed to the correct position. Um, this makes it a lot safer, you won't fall, and you can control exactly when you transfer your weight. That's the Nerd's Guide to the One-Arm Chin-Up. Thanks for watching.